Okay, so here's the transaxle tipped on its end. We're going to take it apart. The bolts come around, the bolts all the way around here to help that holds this end case on. The end case just lifts straight up. If you're having a hard time getting it out, do not put a screwdriver in here because this is a ceiling surface. There may be a gasket, maybe fine machine and not no, nothing, or it could have like an RTV type sealant there. So be very, very careful of this surface. So when we take this unit out, we can see here's our shafts. There's our main shaft, okay? There's our input cluster shaft. There's our reverse idler, okay? Here is our fifth speed shaft. And back down here is our final drive assembly. We have the shift linkage assembly here. This is going to move our synchros up and down. Are we in that? Yes, we're good. Oh. These moves are synchros up and down. So when you're shifting, I showed you the shift rod down and underneath there in the other video. Okay, so this is going to shift up and this one's going to move up and down here. Okay. <clears throat> As you notice, the shafts are using tapered roller bearings. So there's a <coughs> tapered roller bearing on each end of the shaft. Okay. And now you can see here how I said those shafts are in a triangle formation, okay? They're not in a line like in the picture, they're in a triangle. And these gears here are meshed to each other at the top, okay? They're meshed at the top. So there's our input cluster, power comes in. So let's turn it this way, okay? Let's see. I move this over to the edge, yes, you can still see. So I can turn the input cluster shaft here. So when the clutch is engaged, the input cluster shaft is turning. Notice how it's turning all these gears. But these gears, just like the speed gears on the transmission, they're not locked to the shaft. You can see, smooth down the middle. Smooth down the middle, okay? So everything here, the operation is very similar. It's gears are smooth, there's our gear, there's our dog teeth, there's the ramp for the synchro ring. All very, very similar operation. The synchronizer's uh, hub is spline to the shaft, so when we move this up, we've now engaged that gear, and that's gonna be our power output. Everything is going to turn. When we turn the input cluster, Okay, and I'm assuming that this one gear is already locked to the shaft. Okay, this, key, this synchronizer is done. Now I can turn here, and we've got everything's turning. This synchronizer is turning, this one is engaged. If I center that, notice as I center that, that synchronizer, there's no gears engaged. The input cluster is turning. The speed gears are turning, but you can't see. Notice the final drive is not turning. There is no output to the wheels. We're in neutral. When I allow this one synchro to fall down, okay, we've got first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and then we have our fifth gear over here. When this synchro is engaged, we got one, two, three, so we're in third gear at this point in time, which is very convenient for us. Our power flow is coming through and we're getting output to the wheels. Input cluster's turning, okay? Input cluster, shaft, solid shaft. I'll show you more video of that after. Since this gear is locked to the shaft through the synchro, we're getting power flow this way. All the other gears are turning, but they're loose on the shaft. Power flows flowing down to what's called the pinion gear. I'll get you a better picture of that in a minute. Then we get power flowing out of the wheels. Okay, so this is how this transmission looks inside. Shifting, same way. Gears, not spline to the shaft, all loose on the shaft, the same way. Okay, we have a sink with here. I'll take this one off. Let's see. There, tape roller bearing, fifth speed gear, not 
is smooth. If we take the synchronizer off, it will come out. And the synchronizer, there's the splines, there's the synchronizer is splines on the inside, so that synchronizer is attached to the shaft. It doesn't turn. The speed gear loose on the shaft. Doesn't turn until we engage that synchronizer. And if the synchronizer will move up, no it will not, it's stuck. Okay? So these are the main components of this transaxle. Input cluster shaft. Okay? Attached to the clutch disc. One solid piece. Main shaft with all our speed gears and all our synchronizers. Same as similar to the main shaft or the output shaft on the transmission. That main shaft power out to the wheels. On the transmission, the power went to the drive shaft to the wheels, to the differential to the wheels. Here, it, it goes straight to the differential, the final drive assembly. And over here on this transaxle, we're using a fifth gear shaft. Fifth gear, when we engage this, power flow goes straight down. And you can see this gear is attached to the final drive assembly. Power out to the wheels, okay? And I'm gonna pull another transmission up that's in pieces that we can take each piece out and take a better look at it.